Welcome to Serenity Productions. Babe, popcorn is almost ready. Do you also want fondue? Yeah, I got the stuff yesterday, just in case. Of course I got mallows. What kind of heathen do you take me for? Oh, well, I'm so glad you have so much faith in my ability to get good treats. How was the bath? Did you like the bath bomb? If you don't, I can make sure I don't get it again in the future. All right, then I'll keep that one in rotation. Oh, are those the new pajamas I got for you? Very nice. <laughs> how do they feel? Yeah, well, I know how you like fuzzy things. Please, they had your favorite character on them, so I had to get them for you. <laughs> hey, mind bringing over the plates to the coffee table? I just need to wait for the popcorn to be ready and I can bring it over too. I know I can grow extra arms, but I figured you might want to help. Because sometimes you say I spoil you too much. <laughs> Thanks, little one. Mm. By the way, what do you want to drink? Oh, fuck. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh... <laughs> I can always get it delivered if you really want it. You sure? Okay. All right, popcorn is all done. And now, the night can officially begin. So, what is on the agenda for tonight anyway? Spa night, huh? The bath wasn't enough for you tonight, love? <laughs> Alright. What do you want to start with first? Right. No, hun. If if you want to do it, I'm all here for it. Okay. Just um. Please tell me you got the more cloth-like ones. I hate the ones that are super slimy. It's like putting a bunch of slugs on my face. Ugh. Oh, what are these? They make ones that are just for the eyes? Huh. Okay. Well, these don't look too bad. Um, here, show me how to do it. Okay. So, like... This? Oh! Shit, 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 shit! Cold, cold, cold! What did you do? Stick these things in the fridge? <sighs> and how is being cold supposed to help? <sighs> right, if you say so. Oof. <sighs> Alright, what's next on the spa night agenda? Okay, see this? This I can get behind. I like doing your nails. It's very zen for me. <laughs> do you have the colors that you want to do this time? Alright. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Get comfy and I can start. By the way... 
Have you called your mom yet? Mm, babe, you were supposed to do that last week. You know she's bugging me now, right? No joke, she called me at work. Babe, she probably just wants to confirm that we'll be at the family gathering next month. Which we are going to, right? Right? Oh, I know that look. You're trying to get out of this again. We already bailed on the last two. One was because you were actually sick, which I vouched to you for your mother and she even popped by to bring us soup. So we had a free pass on that one. But the most recent one, we didn't have a good excuse and your mother threw the biggest fit over us missing it. Not that bad. Excuse me? I had to play mediator between you two, you little brat. About five phone calls later, you two finally decide to start talking and stop yelling at each other. I swear, your dad and I had a real bonding experience on that one. Alright, so what's the reason this time? <laughs> Seriously? That walking fossil is still alive? Okay, so your uncle will be there. We can just ignore him like we did the first time we went there together. Babe, I can handle your jackass uncle. If need be, I'll just shapeshift into a seven-foot giant woman and curb stomp him into the ground. <laughs> it was merely a joke, my love. Unless you... Want me to turn into a badass, muscular woman and put him in his place? Merely say the word, my dear, and I can make that fantasy come true. <laughs> Alright. Then besides the asshole uncle, why don't you want to go? Okay... All right, hold up, stop. Being a professor at the pen is a, like, a big honor. It's no small feat and you're training the next generation to take up the mantle. How could anyone think that's not a real job? Seriously? When do people forget that dead languages make up most of our old texts? Babe, you and I both know that your class is a requirement for a reason. Those languages are the backbone of our history. The importance they hold is unmeasurable. Well, your aunt is an idiot then, and I'll risk her putting a rain cloud over my head the entire event just to say that to her face. Babe. Babe. Babe, you're making our drinks do a samba on the glasses. Hey. Listen, I know your family stresses you out, okay? And it's not like your siblings are any big help when it comes to planning events or putting out the fires as they come up. You have to take a lot onto your shoulders during these things. I, I get it. But you don't have to handle that stress on your own. I'm here for you now. And you know I have no problem getting your brothers and sisters into shape to help out. I know. Every time we go to something like this, it seems to just explode in our faces. And I can't promise that it won't this time. I don't, however, think ghosting your mom is the right answer. You need to call her. 
At least tell her the truth about why you're apprehensive to go home. She's your mom, honey, and a damn good one at that. She does listen to you and tries to understand you as best she can. Just give her at least the opportunity to hear you out, all right? No, we'll deal with your aunt and your uncle and the twins and your great-grandma and everyone else that likes to cause a scene when or if we go. But I know you miss seeing your family. The good side of the family. And you can't tell me you don't have fun because I've seen you shake a tail feather or two on the dance floor until like two in the morning. Listen. It won't hurt to call her back. Okay? Please? For my sanity? At least before she starts blowing up my phone again? <laughs> Thank you. Nah, you could just reach out to her tomorrow. Right now, let's just enjoy the rest of spa night. Besides, I want you to do my nails too. I know I can just change them, but I like it when you do it. Even when you do get paint all over my finger. <laughs>